Imagine designing a beam that spans 7.5 meter only to have temperature variations throw wrench in your plans. See, in countries where the weather is scorching hot or freezing cold, thermal expansion and contraction can make or break your structure's integrity. But here is the thing, many students aren't aware about the surprising impact of the temperature changes on the structure design, whether it's steel or RCC, or they don't know how to calculate these effects manually. That's where Civil Nirman stand out. Welcome back to Civil Nirman where we turn complex structural problems into practical insights. See, in the world of structural engineering, where tiny changes can add up to the massive forces, have you ever wondered how temperature changes can create significant force and moment changes in this particular beam? So let's break out this particular segment in this session. We'll begin by manually calculating the reactions and moments which are caused by the thermal expansion in this particular in a sample beam. Then we will verify this particular results with the stat. So let's check out this particular sample problems manual calculation and then we will model it instead now before starting the problem i want you to take you through the main theory portion behind which the temperature calculations are performed okay so this is the situation fixed and action caused by the temperature changes and this particular formula also we have learned during our graduation part right so we have basically two category of cases one which is uniform increase in the temperature and another is related to the linear temperature gradient okay uh, it means we have change in temperature in two different conditions right so for the first case uniform increase in temperature we have the reaction based on the above situation will be ea alpha into delta t we already know about the materials modulus elasticity A is the cross sectional area alpha is the coefficient of thermal expansion and delta t is temperature increase similarly in the other case we have temperature variation right so in order to work out the difference we need to work out that particular difference as well okay so over here for that particular segment the moment calculation is specified by the following equation alpha e i into temperature difference divided by d that is your depth of beam right so utilizing these two formulas you can work out uh, the reaction as well as moment so let's just understand this sh two scenario uh, in a sample problem and we will verify this uh, with the star results right so here i am specifying you the first case uh, which is based on the uniform uh, temperature okay this particular temperature is 45 de uh, degree and it is uniform across this section following uh, is the data which we gonna model uh, in the stat pro uh, based on the length coefficient value moment of inertia and modulus of elasticity in the previous session I have already briefed about the material segment that in order to evaluate the accurate results whatever the property that we have uh, from the sample problem same property we need to replicate in the stat model as well so based on the given inertia e and alpha value we need to create this property separately and then we will implement that particular in the modeling part okay so based on this uh, modeling is very simple uh, you have a fixed condition connection with the 7.5 meter length and you need to specify the area e i and alpha value in your material segment right so Let's first calculate it manually how it will work out and later on we will switch to the star model part right so the first case is to work out the reaction and the reaction uh, equation is very simple e a alpha into delta t now if i wish to work out the reaction value you need to incorporate all these values over here so same is implemented and you can check this out okay and based on this we will get the final uh, calculated value in terms of the 45 degrees reaction calculation so i am getting a reaction value as 526.5 kN. now that particular value this particular value we're gonna verify with this stat model so this is case one okay uh, the equation is very simple you can just incorporate the value just make sure about the unit conversion that you need to keep in mind okay always make sure in stat as well so that is the one thing that you need to keep in mind uh, 
uh, whether to go for the uh, the mm part that is in the metric part or you can go with the english part but make sure you have uniform unit conversion in each parameter otherwise you will lead to an error so unit conversion is the one of the important thing that you need to take care while calculating the equation okay otherwise it's very simple so the case one is over and similarly we can work out for the case uh, two as well so now okay so now let's work out for the case two so in the case two oh, we have the temperature variation you can check out that the initial temperature is zero and sorry the temperature below the beam is zero degree and above the beam is 48 degree right so this is the case two uh, the length parameter is a similar 7.5 meter length okay and the iz e and alpha value are specified over here you just need to take care about the temperature difference part over here so here this particular segment is the difference right now in order to work out the moment for this particular case two right uh, here in the case two what is the scenario so in case two we have temperature change between the top and bottom flanges right so that's the difference over here and in order to work out the moment value the following is the equation alpha e i z delta t divided by depth of t right all the equation values are specified over here i am just putting the value 11.7 into 10 raised to minus 6 e value is specified uh, then similarly i z value is also specified and it is converted okay so make sure about the unit conversion part 48 is your temperature difference okay so if i work out the calculation i'll get the moment value as 18.72 kilonewton into meter so these are the two sample problems now we have worked out the manual value calculation now let's switch to the stat mode and let's understand and verify this particular result in stat all right now for your understanding let me just quickly brief you about the modeling part okay uh, i have modeled the same segment with the fixed condition uh, with the 7.5 meter length and similarly i have specified uh, the property value over here right now see one important thing over here is to create your material right so the material one is created over here based on the given value right currently my default unit is in the metric system that's why you are observing here value in kilonewton per meter square if you want to specify it in the other unit you can change it manually uh, while opening the style model or in the editor tab as well okay so make sure about the conversion part uh, that you need to follow while implementing the values so here the values are implemented in terms of kilonewton per meter square okay so don't get confused with the unit portion and it's a simple conversion uh, you can do it manually so i have created this material you can create it from here itself by specifying material one now i will create this prismatic section and assign uh, that particular material one property over here right and we have the area value that is already given in the data ix and iz value Similarly over here as well you will observe that it is in meter square and it is m raised to 4 while in our data it was in centimeter raised to 4 so you need to provide the conversion that's it right now geometry part is pretty simple let's switch to the loading portion now see as here it is in the temperature segment for the two cases I have just developed two cases case 1 case 2 and I have implemented the load so in the first case uh, if we observe right so in the first case we have temperature which is uniform as 45 degree right so i have implemented this temperature load in the temperature load case okay uh, as 45 right. you can click over here click on add option and then we have temperature load option over here so you can implement your temperature from this particular segment so 45 degree i have implemented over here similarly for the case 2 what was the case 2 in the case 2 we have variation in the temperature at the top beam i mean at the below beam and the above beam and the variation was t1 as 0 degree and 48 degree so the same is replicated in the case 2 
right? 0 and 48. Right now, see if you have a different temperature uh, specification, let's say, let's say T1 as 10 degree and T2 as 55 degree. So, to make sure about the difference part over here, so you need to make sure that delta T will be implemented as in difference, otherwise, you will lead to an error. All right. So case 3 you can develop this after once you understand this segment uh, case 3 you have to develop on your own alright so now let's just uh, uh, specify the editor portion alright so it is pretty simple I have just added the command as print support reaction additionally over here so that we will get the results directly in the output part right so that's a pretty simple part I'll run the analysis I'll go to the output portion. Okay, I'll click on the reaction part. All right. So as you can observe that at the joint one and three, you have the reaction as 526.5, which is equal and opposite. So that is matching with our calculation, right? 526.5. Similarly, in case two, we are getting as 80.72 as moment. Right, so in the case 2, this is your case 2, right? This is case 2, and case 2 you are getting moment as 18.72, which is equal and opposite. So that's how you can verify your calculation result for the temperature stresses as well. Right now, I'll provide you one example you need to work out on your own. I hope the calculation is pretty simple, right? So I want to prepare a case 3. Now you need to calculate this particular for the case 3 and let me know in the comment box what will be the answer, right? So model your stat segment, it's pretty simple, it will hardly take 2 to 3 minutes for modeling. Consider T1 as 10, T2 as 55 degree, uh, we have all the values over here. Implement the equation over here and tell me in the comment box what will be the reaction and moment values in the final output for case 3 so I'm case 3 I'm living on you you have to tell me in the comment box stay tuned for more updates in the next session we will understand how you can implement the temperature stasis based on the country specific temperature region